Hi, Sarah here from Cycle Maintenance Academy. Today we're going to take a look at tyre pressure and how to get it right. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Let's begin. Air is being lost constantly, but at a very slow rate. So it's easy to not realise that our tyres are deflating. How much pressure do you need in your tyre? You will find this information etched in small writing on the edge or sidewall of the tyre. The most common unit in the UK is PSI, pounds per square inch. It will be expressed as a range. In this example, it is in between 30 to 55 PSI. The range allows for different situations. The most important being rider weight and terrain. If the tyre pressure is too low, you can get pinch punctures. This is when the deflated tyre squashes against the rim and nips the tube. The ride can feel sluggish. This is because more tyre surface is touching the road, causing rolling resistance. If the tyre pressure is too high, the cycling will feel very harsh. There will be very little give in the tyre and the ride can be uncomfortable. It can cause a tyre blowout. A massive overinflation will likely result in the inner tube bursting and the tyre being forced off the rim. Now let's pump the tyre to the correct pressure. The easiest way is to buy a pump that has a gauge built in so that you can not only check the pressure but also pump the tyre to achieve the correct pressure. If you start by being roughly in the middle of the range and then adapt it from there to suit your riding. For example, if you are carrying heavy loads, then run a higher PSI. If you don't have a pump with a gauge, pinch the sidewalls of your tyre to get the best indication of how much air is needed. If it's soft, like an orange, then the pressure is most likely too low and you need more air in the tyre. Pump in air and keep checking until it's hard like an apple. Thanks for watching and if you like what we do, check out our online cycle maintenance courses. The link is below this video.